Hey guys, it's to help you guys do a game plan back on playing some Archon's Forge. Uh, today's topic of the, to co the commentary, I should say, is going to be about Archon's Forge. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy Jesse's uh, upload. It's a new uh, series I'm going to start doing. It's a monthly series where I upload every clip I hit that month. Um, actually, yesterday, um, a few hours after I uploaded that video, I went and played Trials and I hit two clips back to back rounds. I uh, hope you guys did, are going to enjoy that uh, next month. Um, I'll be going for clips, and we'll see about a montage at the end of the year. Um, so, uh, let's get into today's commentary, which is about Archon's Forge. Now, I know when I saw the first uh, footage of Archon's Forge before Rise of Iron released, um, it looked hard. It looked like it was going to be challenging. Like, you know, you're going to have to be high, high level to do it. Um, with that being said, um, I am a... Uh, 390 Hunter now. Um, I've been doing Archon's Forge since the day Rise of Iron dropped. Um, it was not hard. Um, it was a... I don't... Do you think... Do you guys think it was a disappointment? That's the question I'm going to ask you, and you guys can answer that in the comment section below. Um, do you guys think it was a disappointment, or if it lived up to the hype, or if it was just perfect. Um, I know I'm going to be grinding it in the next few weeks because as I'm 390, I'll be doing the hard raid um, this week. Uh, then I'm going to grind Archon's Forge to get the artifact, get my ghost, um, try to get the Salon's Vigil. I'm going to be grinding um, Iron Banner this week because it started today. Um, uh, trying to get a good clever dragon and also trying to increase. Um, I was 354, 355-ish last Iron Banner. Now I'm 390 on uh, next Iron Banner if trend sets I should be 400 on my hunter and hopefully 400 on my warlock as well as so I'm 385 on that and then once I do that I'll just start another character um either warlock hunter or I might even redo a titan uh, if you guys didn't know I did delete my titan um but with Archon's Forge being out um it, it's an arena it's a patrol arena um it's like challenge elders type stuff um but you need um a key type thing. You need a, um, I'm trying to think of the word, um, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, uh, but you guys have seen me actually use them, um, and do you guys think that it is a good idea, um, to, um, have... It, so you have to have a key to do it, or should it be like on or uh, like prison elders, where you can just jump right in and work on it, and you know be in a fire team with three. Um, another thing is disappointing about it is there's not that many people. You you have to literally when you come in up to the Archon Forge, you have to hop off your sparrow and walk in there to have you know match made players, and that's annoying. You should be able to go up in there, and there should always be people in there. Or, you know, because, I mean, I can solo, you know, the greens and the blues, um, because I am, you know, high light level, I can, you know, solo the greens and the blues, um, but when it comes to purples, I know those purples are a pain in the butt, they are soloable, yes, if you're 400, um, I'm close to 400, I think, um, once I get to 395, I'll be able to just uh, hop right in, do a purple, and leave. Um, also, exotics-wise, um, it seems like you can only get exotic. Uh, it doesn't seem like I already, you, you can only get two exotic, uh, two ultras that spawn. It's the um, server captains and then um, something else. Um, I, I find it relatively annoying because you don't get to keep your um yeah you, uh, like you you can pop through coins and it doesn't count for most of it um there's a lack of ultras in this i know when i did prison elders uh the boss fight um you pop through coins uh nine times out of ten i usually got an exotic um challenge elders not so much but that's challenge elders you know it's three ultras back to back to back um, one with one ultra back to back to back. You know, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, sometime next week I'm going to try to have a exotic review guide up for the trespasser. I want to start doing this for these new exotics I'm doing. Or I'm getting in, like just something to bring to the channel. I want to get some, you know, 
uh, I want to get new gameplay up. I want to get new videos up. Um, it will be harder uh, because next Monday I am going to start going back to work as I'm cleared be um, from my leg injury. Um, I cleared to come back to work, so I'm going to start going back to work. Um, but that's really about it. Um, yeah. So next week I'll have a couple of videos up. Uh, I want to apologize for the no videos the past two weeks. Um, I just been busy, and then when I wanted to sit down. And I've had time to sit down. I haven't had the motivation to make a video. I had, you know, I didn't know what to talk about. Today I was playing Arkham's Forge, and it hit me. Uh, why not talk about the disappointment that Arkham's Forge is? Because I really do think it's a disappointment. Um, so in the, in the comment section below, um, or even tweet me out uh, if you think it's a failure. Also, uh, I have another question I want you guys to answer. Um, I have Titanfall 2, um, and I actually have um, what's it called? I have. Uh, Mortal Kombat X, I have uh, Battlefield 4, if you guys would like to see some different gameplay other besides Destiny, let me know, um, I did not get Infinite Warfare or uh, California Remastered, and I didn't get any gameplay for the Infinite Warfare beta, so I'm not going to worry about the topics, or, like that topic I was going to do, um, because when I went to get on to get gameplay, uh, I couldn't find a lobby, and so I kind of was just like, you know, screw it. Um, but that's going to be all for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay background. I hope you guys did enjoy the commentary. Uh, follow me on Twitter in the description below. Uh, follow XGN on Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. What not? Um, check out my sponsor, Cinch Gaming. Uh, use code uh, YTAbyss for 5% off. And I'm going to try and get some other sponsors. Um, but if you guys want to join XGN, just message me on Xbox or message me on Twitter or put it down in the description below. Uh, I'm going to, if you didn't see last, or yesterday's upload, that will be in the description as well. But this is going to be all for today, guys. So, if you guys enjoyed it, we'll be signing off. Peace.